Well, holy smokes, guys, today we got a lot of really bad news, okay? You know, not every day you can go around, pick up sunflower seeds, watch rainbows in the sky, and be like, Yo, mama, you looking fine, okay? It doesn't work like that, guys. Some days you gotta hide your wife, some days you gotta put your kids to beds, okay? It really do be like this. And we got train wreck after train wreck, like cyberpunk is getting delayed, and our experts, they are ready to say that it's uh, never coming out. So we're gonna talk about it. We also got Jim Ryan out here. He said that not everyone will be able to get PS5 on launch day that was not enough to cause the break in the community that we also got the gaming revolution aka the gaming revolution he came out and he dropped a stun grenade on the whole zombies community and he came out with some news that kind of shocked everybody you know people are kind of shaking right now oh! shaking actually not like they're not shaking like the news is kind of bad the only good news that we have in this video is about the ps5 unboxing video so i i, I want to start this video off with that and let's just get right into it if you're new here i cover all the big gaming news so if an alpha chat like you is new here then subscribe Mardo. and shout out to every single one of you guys out there we hit like almost 1600 likes on the last video i mean you guys have been you chats have been killing it but we got the ps5 unboxing video and that embargo date was really true i know that's some of you guys were like, hey Skizzle, I think this is Capity Cap, but I was saying, yo dog, it is not Bottle Cap, okay? In the beginning, yeah. In, in, in the beginning. It got those curves as well, like, I, I do like it. I know on Twitter, women always ask, like, what do you want, right? And uh, I gotta be honest, I, I want the PS5, man. And he put the PS5 like that, it kind of wiggles, but if you attach the the stand with it it will not wiggle okay so that's the only right way to put your ps5 horizontally and look at that thick boy right it is very very thick and uh, of course it comes in with the manuals it comes in with the hdmi probably not the 2.1 the the shine is kind of kind of it's it's brighter than my future I'll, I'll put it that way you guys agree smash the like button if you agree if it's brighter than your future he also compares it with the sony pony ps4 pro and he will also compare it with the xbox series s uh the, the xbox Xbox Series X. I, I think the Xbox Series X. Yeah, he got the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X. Like, we got the router, we got the, the fridge, and we got the boombox. And that's a triple deal, man. And every time those women will ask you about, hey, what do you want? Tell them about this triple deal, okay? And now let's dive into some uncharted territories. I'm about to risk my life covering this news, but I understand that I'm just reporting the news, okay? Sony has pre-sold as many PS5s in the first 12 hours in the US as it did for PS4 pre-orders in 12 weeks. I mean, some people s would say that this is capity cap, uh, and I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't blame you, right? But in the times of eBay scalpers, anything is possible, guys. Like it, it, it do be like this, and I quote: "It may be that not everybody who wants to buy a PS5 on launch day will be able to find one." Jim Ryan said they put up like this article of course like as lady one said ain't nobody got time for that so we're not gonna be reading oh it's a short one actually <laughs> but not gonna read the whole thing regardless but this is the main part guys it, it may be that not everybody who wants the ps5 or buy wants to buy the ps5 will be able to get it on launch day that is kind of sus man and you know what they sold the same amount of ps5 in 12 hours compared to ps4 that sold in 12 weeks i mean i i had to call cap on this one of course the ebay scalp exist uh, people are not using the rubber so our population is growing every single day go look at some of the government hospital there's a new gamer being born every single day okay like let me put it that way you guys know these are facts no printer okay and speaking of cyberpunk i mean uh, you know what the game that is probably never gonna come out at this point but i gotta absolutely say this in the beginning that hey i'm not really gonna go hard at them okay i'm perfectly fine with this delay i'm gonna give them as much time uh they need as possible of course like i can always uno and be like yo dad like where's the cyberpunk and whatnot i can always do that but personally as a youtuber i'm fine with this delay of course it's not a big <laughs> delay or anything like that but if you start counting if you start counting you know we had april then we had like what maybe june i am forgetting okay then we had september then we had like what uh november yeah november 19th that was the one and now they're saying, hey, uh, you know, go pound sand December 10th. And you know what? We have sauce, ladies and gentlemen. We got this boy out here. Yo, that's a good looking dog. I gotta say that. Just pet that dog for me, man. If you're watching this video, he says, uh, Cyberpunk, hi. Before I book the 19th off work tomorrow, can I have full confirmation that the game is going to come out that day? And Cyberpunk, 20, 23 hours ago, okay? Full confirmation full confirmation and three hours ago well uh, you know what uh, let's go ahead and absolutely ruin everybody's day and they say that 
Uh, hello everybody, today we've decided to move the release date of Cyberpunk 2077 by 21 days. The new release date is December 10th, and of course we got Dr. Inib out here sharing his expertise, and really though, it, it, it do be like this, it really be like this. We got people out there complaining, we got people out there, you know, dropping salt, yeah, everyone is like that, like, I, I you know what, shout out to you, thank you for adding me in the situation. Um, the people out there canceling their pre-orders, this and that, like, says I cancel my pre-order, I also pre-ordered the book and everything, but I fit not until I see a finished product so they got a ton of people sus right but hey listen right as a youtuber I'm perfectly fine as a gamer I'm perfectly fine we're gonna have spider-man we're gonna have black ops and listen here I'm I'm a call of duty fan but I guess we can all agree the only we can count on call of duty see like we can call of duty is the only game that will never be delayed all right so personally I'm fine with this delay I'm just gonna uno real quick they are saying that 21 days might seem like less but it is a lot uh, to change the shape of the game so hey I'm just gonna give them that let's see you know I, I'm, I'm gonna say hey don't hold your breath if it gets delayed <laughs> even further well I'm not gonna be surprised December 10th 2077 cyberpunk 2077 comes out now speaking of the gaming revolution he did drop a deuce on the community okay he did drop a stun grenade on the community he says that hello guys this is the gaming revolution here and welcome back to an all new latest and greatest call of duty black ops video zombies this year is very similar to warzone there there's so many mechanics from it mate and you can see like everybody got sus like homie saying bruh this is uh, sadly this is the future of call of duty armor is there plates quick revive gives you a soft revive shot instead of spawning you parachute down i could go on i'm not sure with this quick revive yo dane i know you're a homie you're most likely gonna watch this video i'm just joking around i'm not sure with this quick revive part because in the trailer when the player was popping elemental pop is the same <laughs> animation from previous call of duties i'm not sure if they could change the animation from the part Okay, so not that bad. I thought that he was my man. Basherk was like, explain. And literally, everybody got sus. Like, homie's like, hey, is that good or bad? And then and, and nobody, honestly, nobody knows what's happening in the six. And I do apologize for all this bad news. But hey, the way I see it is that, hey, that's not necessarily bad news. But the thing that I'm sus about is we already know that Blackout had a major contribution to Black Ops 4 Zombies. And that was one of the reasons why Black Ops 4 Zombies didn't hit people in the G spot. I know there's a fan base for it and that's perfectly fine but many people weren't really satisfied with black ops 4 and blackout was one of the reason why black ops 4 felt like it was missing its identity i personally love blackout a lot blackout was really fun but they really did take things from blackout and put it in zombies and it felt like copy and paste and if the same thing is gonna happen again well i mean there it goes right but personally i'm optimistic i'm excited for zombies let's see what happens Share your expertise in the comments below. Turn on those notifications. I'm gonna keep all of your studs and chats in the loops. Click on any of the video on the screen. You're gonna get a kick of dopamine. And uh, I will see you right there. And Stud Muffin is not out. Because I'll see you in the next video.